of the second question was where is the clear cut broad condemnation of terrorism from Muslim leaders? Yeah, so um, there, there have been many, many such uh, fatwas or pronounce, pronouncements against suicide bombings. Uh, many, in many cases, they're not reported. There does need to be more. However, I'll give you an example of why in some cases there aren't more. Now, recently, we at Quilliam publicized a fatwa by Dr. Tahir al-Qadri against terrorism, uh, a no ifs, no buts condemnation of suicide bombing and terrorism that Douglas, always a pleasure to speak with you on the panel, supported. Um, and was quoted in the press as supporting Dr. Tariq Qadri's fatwa against terrorism. Now, the reason why there aren't uh, many more such examples, though there are uh, quite a few, is because prior to Dr. Tariq Qadri uh, issuing this fatwa, his colleague, who was also from the same way of thinking, was assassinated in Pakistan, was killed by a suicide bomber in a mosque where all the other congregants who were praying were also blown to smithereens because he had the guts to simply give a sermon in that mosque condemning suicide bombings. And so this is why many people are scared, because it takes guts, I tell you, to go into Pakistan and try and challenge these extremists. That's a country that doesn't have much rule of law. It's a country that's struggling against the so-called Pakistani Taliban from taking over a third of their country. And they're fighting that fight on the front lines. And there are those who are brave enough just to give a speech to condemn terrorism. And they're blown to smithereens in their mosque um, while praying. Imagine. And, and, and surely they're religious people. They were imagine. praying in a mosque, I'm, Douglas. I'm, I, I, like, you I, did support that fatwa, though, didn't I, I, you? I Douglas did. It's the only yeah. time I've ever done a book review of a fatwa. Um, um, <laughs> uh, the, um, uh, I'm sorry to say this, Imagine. You seem to have just proved our point. Yes. It's Am I? <laughs> Please explain. Is it? Is it? I mean, I, I'm very grateful. It's a very important and very interesting question why more people don't stand up. I much admire Al Qadri for that fatwa, as I have other people who have stood up. But the number of times I've spoken to clerks behind closed doors and so on, and you say, why aren't you saying anything? They, they say, because if I do speak up, I'll be killed. Well, I address you again, ladies and gentlemen, to the motion. No, but <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry, sorry. Right, ha, ha, hang on, hang on, hang on. How, how on earth? How on earth does fear of being killed in Pakistan by a minority faction of extremists prove Islam is not a religion well, of peace? Let me put it this way. If we were That's discussing Quakerism here tonight, does anyone think that when a Quaker said, I'm quite fearful about speaking up against certain things in my faith, come on, this only happens with Islam. There is no other major faith in the to world true, today Douglas, where it is the case be, that for, people for are that, fearful of addressing religion because they're afraid they'll be killed. It's to be only true. Islam. And that, we're saying I'm there's a reason. I'm afraid of being killed by apostates. Yes, and many for, of you who came here tonight came under unusual circumstances. I'm not in government. I'm not a powerful person. I am a citizen. I mean, just Can a normal, ordinary person. Can you explain what you mean by unusual circumstances? Unusual circumstances? You went through metal detectors to come to a debate in New York. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, talk that, about... That's because it takes one I, person to no, get through no, those metal finish. detectors no, and blow us finish. up. Let me finish. It doesn't mean the majority of let, people are terrorists. Let me finish. Let me finish. The, part, the people that I am protected against, and you as an audience too, the individual who wants to kill me because I'm an apostate of Islam is inspired inspired to do that from the scripture of Islam, the example of the Prophet Muhammad, the clergy that pre preached to him, and the reward he will get in the hereafter Ayan, that is promised in the Quran. All of that is Islamic. The sooner you admit that, I tell you what he's inspired the sooner by, you admit yeah. that, the sooner he's I can get rid of my bodyguard. He's inspired. I'll tell you what he's inspired by. Yeah. Right. Michael, this, this is how I want to have the last word on, on this point, because yeah. I want to go back to the young lady's question.